Imagine a world where lions roamed not just the savannas of Africa, but the forests of Europe, where giant elephants towered over ancient landscapes and massive wild cattle herded across open plains. The animals that once walked the earth were truly remarkable, and it's a shame that so many of them are lost to time. Even though we can't turn back the clock, we can still explore their stories and learn how they lived, and sadly, how they vanished. The ancient world, full of gods, monsters, and mysterious lands, was also full of incredible animals that people in the modern world never got to see. Let's dive into the past and discover the awe-inspiring creatures that once lived alongside our ancestors. From fierce predators to colossal herbivores, these animals shaped the ancient world, leaving behind traces of their existence in mythology, art, and history. The American Bear Dog, a prehistoric predator. Imagine a creature that looks like a cross between a bear and a dog. This ancient predator, the Bear Dog, officially known as Amphicionidae, roamed North America millions of years ago. Though they aren't true bears or dogs, they share characteristics with both. Bear dogs had the muscular build of a bear and the agility of a dog. They ranged in size, with some as small as modern coyotes and others as large as grizzly bears. They had strong jaws and sharp teeth, designed for taking down large prey, while their long limbs made them fast and efficient hunters. Living during the Miocene epoch, the American bear dog ruled over vast territories. These carnivores would have hunted ancient herbivores like camels, horses, and even early rhinos. As apex predators, they played a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystems. For over 20 million years, bear dogs thrived across North America, Europe, and Asia. But as time passed, the changing climate and competition with other predators, such as early big cats and canids, led to their gradual decline. By about 5 million years ago, they were extinct, replaced by more specialized hunters like modern wolves and big cats. Though the bear dog no longer exists, its fossils tell a fascinating story of evolution and adaptation. These creatures bridge the gap between two powerful predator groups, leaving behind a unique legacy that continues to intrigue paleontologists today, the tarpan, Europe's last wild horse. Once, wild horses roamed the forests and grasslands of Europe. These were the tarpans, a breed of wild horse that was small, robust, and incredibly hardy. They were a crucial part of Europe's natural landscape standing about 1.3 to 1.4 meters tall, with a thick mane and a stocky build perfect for surviving in harsh conditions. The tarpon played a major role in shaping European ecosystems. These wild horses helped maintain open landscapes by grazing on the vegetation, preventing forests from overtaking the grasslands. Their distinctive dun color, with a dark stripe down their backs, was perfect camouflage for life in the wild. Sadly, overhunting and habitat destruction by humans gradually pushed the tarpon to extinction. As agriculture spread across Europe, the need for land and domesticated horses increased, leaving no room for their wild counterparts. By the late 1800s, the last wild tarpon was killed in Ukraine, and the species was lost. Though extinct, Efforts have been made to recreate the tarpon by selectively breeding modern horses that carry similar genes. These animals aren't true tarpons, but they give us a glimpse of what this wild, resilient horse once looked like in Europe's past. The Syrian elephant, Hannibal's last giant. Elephants are still around today, but the ones we know now are just a fraction of the great elephant species that once existed. Among the most fascinating was the Syrian elephant, a massive subspecies that lived in Syria, Mesopotamia, and the Persian Gulf. Standing at a towering 3.5 meters at the shoulder, these elephants were as tall as some of the largest Indian elephants. Sadly, they went extinct around 700 BCE. 
disappearing from their natural habitat. However, the Syrian elephant might have made one last appearance in history. You might have heard of Hannibal, the famous general who led his army, along with war elephants, across the Alps in his campaign against the Roman Republic. While most of Hannibal's elephants were smaller African elephants, his personal elephant, named Surus, stood out. Some historians believe Surus was a Syrian elephant, known for its size and bravery, making it a key part of one of the most legendary military strategies of all time. The Giants of China China, one of the world's oldest civilizations, was once home to another unique population of elephants. Although a few hundred Asian elephants still live in China today, ancient records and artwork suggest that a different, much larger species of elephant once roamed the northern regions. For years, scientists thought these elephants were just another branch of the Asian elephant family, but new evidence suggests something different. The teeth of these ancient elephants do not match those of modern Asian elephants. Instead, they resemble Paleoloxodon, also known as the straight-tusked elephant. These giants were not only bigger than modern elephants, but they also had two trunk fingers, instead of the single one seen in today's Asian elephants. They were larger, had bulbous foreheads, and possessed long, straight tusks. The discovery of their remains suggests that these enormous animals, which were thought to have gone extinct during the Ice Age, might have survived into the age of ancient China, sharing the land with early humans. The Atlas Bear, a casualty of the Roman arena. North Africa once had its very own species of bear, the Atlas Bear. Named after the Atlas Mountains where it lived, this bear thrived in the temperate climates of the region, surviving in high-altitude forests where snow often fell. Though similar to modern brown bears, the Atlas bear had its own unique features. Reddish-orange fur on its underside, stocky build, shorter claws, and a shorter muzzle. Unfortunately, the downfall of the Atlas bear can be traced back to the Romans. During the height of the Roman Empire, thousands of Atlas bears were captured and sent to fight in the Colosseum and other arenas. Starved and mistreated, these bears were forced to battle other animals, and sometimes even humans, for the entertainment of the Roman public. Over centuries, this relentless hunting and exploitation led to the extinction of the Atlas bear, with the last known bear being killed in the 19th century, the mighty aurochs, the ancestors of modern cattle. Perhaps one of the most significant animals lost to time is the aurochs, the wild ancestor of modern cattle. Once found across Europe, the Middle East, and parts of Asia, these massive bovines were much larger and stronger than today's cows, standing nearly six feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 1,500 kilograms, the aurochs were a formidable presence in the ancient world. Aurochs lived in herds, with both males and females engaging in fierce battles for dominance. Adult aurochs had few natural predators, thanks to their size and strength, though sick or young members of the herd were sometimes preyed upon by wolves or bears. Their grazing habits helped maintain open grasslands in Europe, which supported a diverse range of other species. Humans, however, played a key role in their downfall. As civilizations grew, forests were cleared for farming, reducing the aurochs habitat. Overhunting also took its toll, and by the 17th century, the last aurochs had died in Poland. Despite their extinction, Aurochs live on through their domesticated descendants, cattle, which continue to be one of the most important animals in human history. In recent years, scientists have been working on a project called the Taurus Program in the Netherlands, which aims to breed a species similar to the Aurochs using modern cattle. The hope is to reintroduce these animals into the wild helping to restore the open pastures and biodiversity that the aurochs once supported. The Lost Lions of Eurasia When you think of lions, you probably picture them as rulers of the African savanna. But not too long ago, 
lions lived across a huge range, stretching from Africa to Europe and the Middle East. These were not just any lions, but Panthera leo, the same species we know today. In fact, lions once roamed throughout much of what we now call Greece, Mesopotamia, and even as far as India. These majestic creatures were so common that they appeared in art, folklore, and mythology from various ancient cultures. In places like ancient Mesopotamia or Greece, it wouldn't have been surprising to hear stories of lions prowling the forests or preying on local livestock. The Assyrian Empire, for example, created intricate artworks showing lion hunts, which often symbolized the power and bravery of their kings. But despite their strength and beauty, lions had an unfortunate downfall. They were simply too impressive. Their magnificence made them prime targets for hunters, and over time, excessive hunting led to their extinction in many parts of the ancient world. By 100 BCE, lions had completely disappeared from Greece. In other parts of the Near East, lions continued to survive until around the 1800s, but they were eventually hunted to extinction in these regions, with the last known lion in Iraq being killed in 1918. In India, however, the Asiatic lion managed to survive in the Gia forest, thanks to local rulers who protected them from hunters. These lions are smaller than their African relatives, with darker manes and a distinct fold of skin along their bellies. Although they once faced near extinction, they still roam the forest today, a living reminder of a time when lions ruled much of the world. The dwarf elephants, miniature giants of the ancient world. When we think of elephants, we imagine massive creatures, but in the ancient world, some elephants evolved to be much smaller. These were the dwarf elephants, mini-giants that adapted to survive on isolated islands where food was scarce and smaller size meant survival. Sicilian and Maltese dwarf elephants, two of the most famous species, lived in Sicily and Malta. These dwarf elephants descended from straight-tusked elephants, giants in their own right. Over time, however, they shrank to about one meter tall, roughly the size of a modern pony. Despite their small stature, they retained many of the features of their larger ancestors. Sadly, they went extinct around 9,000 years ago, likely due to human hunting and habitat loss. The Dwarf Elephants of Crete Crete was home to Paleoloxodon creticus, the smallest elephant species ever, standing just over one meter tall. Some believe their skulls, with their large central holes where trunks were attached, may have inspired the myth of the Cyclops. They too went extinct around 10,000 years ago, likely as a result of human activity. Southeast Asian Dwarf Elephants Dwarf elephants also lived on islands in Southeast Asia, such as Flores. These elephants, including Stegodon, evolved to about 1.5 meters tall to adapt to island life. They shared the island with early humans, like Homo floresiensis, and their extinction coincided with the spread of humans across the region. Dwarf elephants are a testament to evolution's power, showing how animals can shrink and adapt in isolated environments. Though they're extinct, their fossils remind us of the delicate balance of ecosystems and the impact humans can have on even the most unique species. The elephant bird, giants of Madagascar. Imagine a bird so massive, it dwarfed even ostriches. That's the elephant bird, once the largest bird to ever walk the earth. Native to Madagascar, these flightless giants stood up to three meters tall and weighed around half a ton. Their eggs were enormous, with each one being about the size of seven ostrich eggs combined. Elephant birds thrived in Madagascar's forests, foraging on fruits and vegetation. Despite their size and power, they weren't predators, but gentle herbivores. However, their sheer presence made them an awe-inspiring sight in the wild. Around 1,000 years ago, these magnificent creatures disappeared. Theories suggest their extinction was caused by human activity, 
overhunting, and habitat destruction by early settlers. Their giant eggs in particular may have been a highly valuable resource. Though they're long gone, the legacy of the elephant bird lives on in myths and legends. Some believe that tales of the mythical roc, a giant bird that could carry elephants, were inspired by these massive creatures. The elephant bird story is a reminder of Madagascar's once vibrant, unique wildlife. Hast's eagle, the apex predator of New Zealand. Imagine an eagle so large it could hunt creatures as big as humans. This was Hast's eagle, the largest eagle to ever exist. Native to New Zealand, it had a wingspan of up to 3 meters and could weigh over 15 kilograms, making it a true giant among birds of prey. Hast's eagle primarily hunted the giant moa, an enormous flightless bird that roamed New Zealand. With its powerful talons and incredible speed, the eagle could swoop down and deliver deadly blows to its prey, striking with enough force to crush bone. It was the undisputed apex predator of New Zealand's skies. However, when humans arrived in New Zealand, they hunted the moa to extinction, removing Hast's eagle's primary food source. Without the moa, the eagle couldn't survive, and it disappeared around 600 years ago, shortly after the moa's extinction. Even though Hast's eagle is long gone, it lives on in Maori legends, where it was known as the Puakai, a fearsome bird of prey that could snatch humans from the ground. This powerful predator remains one of the most awe-inspiring animals of prehistory. The Japanese Wolf, Guardians of the Mountains the Japanese wolf was once the smallest wolf species in the world, standing about 80 centimeters tall at the shoulder, yet it was a powerful predator in Japan's forests and mountains. These wolves played a key role in Japanese folklore, often seen as protectors of the land and even sacred animals, guarding farmers' crops from wild boars and deer. With Japan's rugged mountainous terrain, the Japanese wolf evolved to be smaller and more agile than other wolf species. They lived in isolated packs, thriving in Japan's dense forests and steep hillsides. Their distinct features included short legs, a bushy tail, and a slightly fox-like face. As human settlements expanded into the wolf's natural habitat, conflict arose. By the late 19th century, rabies outbreaks spread across Japan, and fear of the disease led to widespread wolf hunting. The wolves, seen as threats to livestock and human health, were targeted until the last known Japanese wolf was killed in 1905. Although extinct, the Japanese wolf lives on in local folklore and legends. Known as Okami, it was often viewed as a messenger of the gods, and some rural communities still leave offerings at shrines, hoping the spirit of the wolf will protect them. This mysterious creature remains a symbol of Japan's deep connection with nature and its ancient wilderness. Caspian Tiger, the Ghost of the Grasslands The Caspian Tiger was one of the largest tiger subspecies, roaming across the vast forests and grasslands of Central Asia, from Turkey to northwestern China. Measuring up to 10 feet in length, including its tail, this majestic predator was a master of stealth and power, with a dense coat to withstand the harsh winters of its homeland. Unlike other tigers that thrive in jungles, the Caspian tiger adapted to river valleys, marshes, and even arid plains. They preyed on large animals like deer and wild boar, and their muscular build made them formidable hunters. This adaptability allowed them to rule a vast range of landscapes, from rugged mountains to open plains. As human populations grew, the Caspian tiger faced increasing threats. Habitat destruction from farming, deforestation, and hunting drastically reduced their numbers. By the 1950s, aggressive hunting campaigns by governments in the region aimed at clearing land for agriculture drove the species to the brink of extinction. The last known Caspian tiger was sighted in the wild during the 1970s, marking the tragic end of this magnificent predator. Although the Caspian tiger is now extinct, 
scientists have discovered that its closest relative, the Siberian tiger, shares nearly identical DNA. This revelation has sparked discussions about reintroducing tigers into the Caspian's former range using Siberian tigers, giving hope that one day the roar of a tiger may once again echo through the grasslands of Central Asia. The Madagascan Horned Crocodile, a lost predator. The Madagascan Horned Crocodile was a unique and fearsome predator that once roamed the island of Madagascar. Unlike any living crocodile, this species had distinct bony projections above its eyes, resembling horns. These horn-like features gave it a fierce and unusual appearance, making it stand out among other crocodiles. Living in Madagascar's rivers and wetlands, the horned crocodile was well adapted to its environment. It likely preyed on large animals like the island's giant lemurs and other megafauna, thriving as a top predator. Madagascar's isolation allowed this crocodile to evolve into a species with features not seen anywhere else in the world. While its exact extinction timeline remains unclear, it's believed the horned crocodile vanished between 1,000 and 2,000 years ago. The arrival of humans in Madagascar, along with habitat destruction and hunting, likely contributed to its decline. The loss of its natural prey also may have played a role in its extinction. Though the Madagascan horned crocodile is now extinct, fossils and cave art have provided glimpses into its past. Local legends of strange horned crocodiles still circulate in Madagascar, keeping the memory of this mysterious creature alive in the island's folklore. The animals mentioned here are just a few examples of the incredible creatures that once walked the earth. The world of our ancestors was filled with animals that seem almost fantastical to us now, but to them, these creatures were a part of everyday life. While we can't bring back all of these animals, learning about them helps us appreciate the richness of life on Earth and the importance of protecting the species we have left today. The stories of these lost animals remind us of the impact humans have had on the natural world and how we can strive to ensure that the animals of today don't meet the same fate. The past was truly a wondrous place filled with creatures that could capture the imagination and inspire awe. Although we may never see them again, their legacy lives on in the stories, art, and history of the ancient world.